Okay, my little guys and dolls, who out there is ready to sing and dance? I am. How about you? Let's get this party started. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do a three. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do a three. <laughs> Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, in your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do a three. Hooray! Wow! That was so much fun! Did you guys enjoy that? That got Graham Ruth out of breath. Oh my goodness, it's time for me to take my seat. <sighs> okay, did we all enjoy that? I hope you did because I got a workout just then. <laughs> well, welcome to another joyous adventure with story time at Graham Ruth's house. Today, we are looking to have a fact finding adventure. We're going to learn a few things today. Are you guys ready for that? I know I am. How about you? Let's get started with this. <laughs> we are going on an adventure with Dr. Seuss this afternoon on Beyond Bugs. Ah, all about insects. Are you guys ready to learn a little bit of things? Let's go. <laughs> On Beyond Bugs by Tish Raby, illustrated by Aristides Ruiz. I'm the cat in the hat, and I'm glad that I found you. Right now, if you look, you'll see insects all around you. They live in the water, the earth, and the sky. Just wait and you'll soon see an insect go by. Ooh. There are millions of them. I will show some of you, some to you. <laughs> Your mother will not mind at all if I do. I don't think she would mind at all. We've got some butterflies right here. There you go, you see those butterflies there? And those are, and oh, a little grasshopper right here. But we're going to find a whole lot more bugs. Let's see. Most insects you'll meet have hard shells and lay eggs. They have wings and can fly, and they all have six legs. Let's see what we have here. We've got a praying mantis right here. That's the long green one right there. Then we have a beautiful blue butterfly right here. That's beautiful. I love butterflies. How about you guys? Then we've got grasshopper, a ladybug, and a black ant over here on this page. What do you guys think of that? Oh, and here's a quick note. Spiders aren't insects. This news couldn't wait. Instead of six legs, every spider has eight. 
Okay. If you look at an insect up close, you will see that its body's in parts and each insect has three. First the head, then the thorax, which is kind of up under here. And here at the end is the longest part, which is called the abdomen. And it gives it to you right there, all in the... It can be a memory. All right. Then we're going to go. Insects cannot see all the things that surround them. So they each have two feelers to touch what's around them. An insect has feelers on top of its head. Some look a lot like a thin piece of thread, while others look much more like feathers instead. You see that? You see here? All the feelers that are around them, they're long, very long. See that? And then we have another quick note. We wish we had feelers, but we don't have any. You can also call feelers by this name, antennae. It's like the little antennae that stick up. That kind of gives them, you know, lets them know the directions of things. See that? They have them here and then here. Yeah. Watch an insect and see all the things it does. Some can swim, jump, or crawl. Others chirp or buzz. Can you see that here? You've got a diving beetle. And you've got a dog flea right here. You've got a pipeline caterpillar. You see that? And then you have a cricket over here. Isn't that interesting? And there's a flash. There's a firefly. Here we go. Or buzz, bumblebees. Wow, yeah, they're all different types of bugs. Birds and frogs look for insects in order to eat them. So insects work hard to make sure they don't meet them. <laughs> Some like this wasp have bright colors that say, don't come near me, I'll sting you, so just stay away. <laughs> this moth's wings are colored to look like the tree it is resting upon so that no one can see it. Whoa, he's really good. You barely seen him there with that tree. He blended in so well. And then that wasp. I have a lot of those around where I live. <laughs> this spittle bug sits and he spits out a bubble. It's wet and it's cool and can save him from trouble. For when he's all covered in bubbly foam, if a hungry bird comes, it thinks, hmm, nobody's home. <laughs> See that? See how he covers himself in the spittle bottles? See how he's starting over here? And then this is what it ends up being. <laughs> Here is a riddle I learned from my mother. How's a skunk and a ladybug like one another? When danger is near, it is easy to tell. Then suddenly give off. 
they suddenly give off a terrible smell. Yikes, here's the skunk. We all know that, <laughs> what that smells like. And here goes some ladybugs. Don't mess with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> These busy insects are my friends, the ants. They like to eat seeds, other insects, and plants. Ants are so strong, they can lift things that weigh over 10 times their weight. And they do it all day. So, if you were as strong as an ant, you would see you could lift up 10 cats in tall hats. <laughs> easily <laughs> oh my goodness you see here near they go lifting they are very strong they can take away an entire picnic basket filled with food they can <laughs> watch these honeybees and i am sure you'll agree that these bees are as busy as Busy can be. <laughs> Play on words, right? <laughs> Worker bees collect food and they keep the hive clean. They protect it from danger and wait on their queen. <laughs> she must stay in one place. It is her job to lay dozens and dozens of eggs every day. Wow, you take a look at that. Whoa, she's busier than busy could be. She is very busy. See that? When a bee has discovered where food can be found, she goes back to her friends and starts dancing around what we did kind of earlier right <laughs> first she wills then waggles in circles and so all the other bees know which direction to go <laughs> she's giving them a little food dance <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> That's funny. We can grow lots of flowers with help from the bees. They store dust from each other, from each flower in back of their knees. Wow, that's interesting. This dust is called pollen. Next flower they find, when they land on it, they leave some pollen behind. Wow, how interesting is that? That's a good fact finder. This is called pollination, and it makes the new seeds that grow even more flowers, which everyone needs. I know I need flowers. I love putting fresh, fresh flowers in my home. I love them. I wake up and I smell the roses, literally. <laughs> Here they are, storing them on the back of their knees, you see, storing the pollen. And then here they are bringing it over. See that? That's awesome. Some insects I know can be unwanted guests. Fleas, flies, and mosquitoes can really be pests. Yes, they can be very pesky. <laughs> pesky pets. Pesky pests. <laughs> Fleas live on cats, dogs, rats, hamsters, and mice. Their bite is quite itchy, Eww. which isn't too nice, not at all, not at all. <laughs> but they're wonderful jumpers. Why, if we were fleas, we'd jump over a house and we'd do it with ease. <laughs> 
can see there, the mosquitoes, they're really pesky. The flies, even worse. You see that? And then I think here we have the fleas. Yeah. And if we were, we could jump over the house. <laughs> Have you ever wondered, why does a fly buzz? Well, it beats its wings fast, and each time that it does, its wings make a sound. You can hear in your ear, yes, yes. <laughs> and this sound lets you know there's a fly flying near, yes, yes. And it's so irritating. It's, you can hear it right here. You know that it's close. You just swat it out of the way. <laughs> and here's a fun fact. Here's a fact about flies that we both thought was icky. They can walk upside down since their feet are so sticky upside down. It's almost like doing a back bend or a somersault of some sort, right? <laughs> yeah. Like doing a somersault. That is quite icky. Sticky feet. Ugh. <laughs> like <laughs> thing one and thing two. <laughs> I don't think mosquitoes are very polite. When they're hungry, they land and they sting when they bite. Yes, they're very rude insects. <laughs> but it's only the female mosquitoes that do. Male mosquitoes will never come bothering you. Well, you know, us girls, you know, we rule the world. Yes, yes. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Caterpillars do something you might think strange. They start out as one thing. Then one day, they change. Some spin a small house on a branch just like this. And this home that they make is called a chrysalis. If you watch it, you'll see when a few weeks go by, it turns into a beautiful new butterfly. And remember at the beginning of the story, we saw the blue butterfly. They are, they have so many various colors of butterflies. And a lot of butter, butterflies actually have several different colors on one butterfly. So I love butterflies. And this is the cocoon that they make when they're nesting in there and ready to hatch. And here's another quick fun fact. Here's a quick fact that we both thought was neat. Butterflies can taste their food with their feet. Oh my goodness, can you? I think when we're babies, we sometimes stick our food, our feet in our food and you know, we wanna put it in our mouth and taste it. But I don't think we remember too much of that. But I think that's a cool thing that we all probably do at some time or other. <laughs> On warm summer evenings, you may see the light of fireflies flashing off on in the night. They are like tiny flashlights that float in the sky. And if you want to catch them, it's all right to try. <laughs> Use a jar with a lid, watch them glimmer and glow, then open the jar up and let them all go. I have so many memories of these. We call them lightning bugs, but I have so many memories of the fireflies and doing this exact thing with my friends when I was a little girl. So this really takes me back. <laughs> we won't say how far back. <laughs> Those were fun times. All day and all night, on the ground, in the air, insects are moving around everywhere. It's important for us to keep learning about them. 
the world that we know couldn't go on without them. The butterfly, ladybug, ant, and the bee make everything better for you and for me. <laughs> I love Dr. Seuss's tales. Always so much valuable learning knowledge here. And fun. And fun. You see we have them all there. There's the ladybug in her hand. And you've got the moths and the butterflies. And here you have the praying mantis and your aunt. Ah, <laughs> and that is the end. Oh my goodness, I was ready for more learning on insects. Oh, wow, that a lot of insects there, right? How, how much valuable information did you guys get out of that? Because some of the, like the, bub, the, the little bug with the bubbles that covers it, that was new to me. So I learned that with you guys today. I really hope you guys had a wonderful learning, singing time with Graham Ruth today. If this made you smile, giggle, wiggle, learn anything in any way, please go ahead and comment below. Ask mom and dad to help you in commenting and let me know which one was your favorite insect. And maybe why, you know, maybe it's the caterpillar because it's so squiggly and squishy. Maybe it's the praying mantis because it's green. But if mom or dad would help you, just go ahead and write in the comment section, which was your favorite insect. And if you have more than one, go ahead and list that also. It has been such a wonderful time spending with you guys. And if mom and dad has not already, please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Again, drop a comment. Let me know where you're tuning in from and ring the bell because that way you will get all of the notifications about when I am posting my next video, which will be on Wednesday because I am committed to bringing you fun, loving, learning stories straight from Graham Ruth to you guys every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Until next time, I would love for you to join me in my next segment, which is going to involve a series of strengths with a little bit of change. Until next time, stay in love and light. Know that I love you guys. Listen to mom and dad. Be good and be kind and be loving. Until next time, Graham Ruth loves you so much. Bye-bye.